birds are just amazing to work with. You know, I can't say much more. You know, um, they can turn their head 270 degrees. So that's halfway around, over halfway around. And, um, yes, every day. You know, and I think Abby has something to say. Yeah, so they get the name Barn Owl, of course, because they like to nest in barns. They're cavity nesters, so they like to live in dead, hollow trees uh, on the edge of fields. And as Hunter was saying, they get kind of a spooky name about them, because if you can imagine a few hundred years ago, people didn't really know what barn owls were. And so typically you think of an owl hooting, just like Fonzie is here. But these guys actually make more of a screaming noise. So if you can imagine being a farmer in your barn hundreds of years ago and you hear what sounds like basically a woman screaming, uh, and then you look up and something white just floats over your head, what are you gonna think that is? You're gonna think it's a ghost. And so they actually were the inspiration for many, many ghost stories before people figured out uh, that it was actually in fact owls and not ghosts living in their barns. So this guy here who's pretty loud, this is Fonzie. He is a great horned owl. Um, he's what we're gonna be releasing tonight. So this is one of our education birds. Uh, he's about six years old. And Fonzie, just like our other two uh, owls that we're releasing, fell out of his nest. Um, and luckily someone found him and brought him to us. And what we do at Reggie is we actually, um, when we get baby birds in, does somebody, does somebody want to help me? Can I have a voucher? You want to help? Come on up here. All right, what's your name? Sadie. Sadie. All right, Sadie. So what we're going to do is we're going to make you a rehabber, okay? And Fonzie, he's a baby bird, and he just came in. You know what your job is? Your job is to teach him how to be an owl, okay? Ready? Go. <laughs> They've been raised by foster parents, so they know how to fly, they know how to hunt, and all that good stuff. So they are ready to go. <laughs> well, I have it separated by um, 2D art, 3D art, or criticism, but then ideally one grade supposed to replace the next. So we do the way we do perspective. We can, you know, like, oh, we did this, this life, and they were awesome, and then they filled their perspective, and I'm like, oh, so now they have a two? I'm like, I Um, no, this is from, she's from the Rib Mountain Golf Course. 
Um, that other one's coming out in just a minute. This is the one that my husband and yep, I Yeah, this is your guys' oh, yeah. way. It was sitting on the tee of number two. Oh, well, she is very grown up and she has a lot of attitude, so you guys did well. Uh, owls have very light wing loading. Uh, they uh, they don't make any sound when they fly. Uh, they that's one of their their stealth features. And uh, look at those eyes. Here. Oh, there's the other one. Oh. Sister. <laughs> He's like I'm so done with my sister. <laughs> Yeah, and look at look at the difference difference in the coloration. That's just natural. I mean, it doesn't matter that doesn't one's matter. a male or female. No, it's um, it's just you know their parents. Uh, one well, one pair is a little lighter than the other. But this uh, this young girl is from the uh, the golf course in Wausau and Rib Mountain. Yeah. And Rib Mountain. Yeah. Do you want to mention that you're always looking for people to help transport up there? Absolutely. We are always looking for transporters and uh, for volunteers as well. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of volunteers. Living in Antigo is, uh, is uh, uh, challenging because we're a small town. Yeah, he's uh, friendlier than. Yeah, he's. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Is he biting you? Yeah, he had him. Uh, he's got her jacket. Just my sweatshirt is all. Okay. Good luck, little man. Now, as you see, they're not tame. So they will maybe bite someone. Well, no, we're we're not we're not talking about inviting. We're just talking about you know that they really want to go. They're excited to leave uh, to be on their own. Um, they would have been on their own if they left their parents uh, earlier this this month, and so they're a little bit uh, because they were with us. Um, we have them a little bit longer, but it's time. It's time for them to be on their own. It's sort of like when kids go to college, you know. Uh, they had a foster father, by the way. They didn't have a mother. They had a foster dad, but that's fine in the bird world because mammals are the only ones that need a mom for milk. There's no other reason, and they they don't. They don't need milk. So dads are very capable of raising the babies and do an excellent job. Uh, like a lot of dads that we know, they do an excellent job of being a dad. So we're just going to step out there. Oh, that's me. It's just me. Probably a good idea. Two, three. Oh. 